Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This video came quite quickly after the last one, I know, but uh, Captain Jack decided to drop a 45 minute long video showcasing a bunch of the new features. So we're just going to go through them all now. So the first and obvious thing we're going to start off with is we have a close-up reveal of the new cargo crate. And I thought it was originally going to be some sort of ammo crate, but no, it's just got a, kind of got the boring name of the cargo crate. But it has a decent amount of storage regardless, and I think it looks very cool. Now, going to the next more obvious block, we have like the barrels. Now, these are laid everywhere throughout the video and are very odd enough, but we're going to take a look at them in the actual game menu. So, here we see we have actually got four different variants. We only ever see the first two variants in the video itself. We don't actually see these latter two ones. And the last one here on the end with a little explosive icon. I think this is going to be the classic red barrel explode that we have in video games and will be a nice alternative to the warhead. And I love my explosion, so I'm very glad we're getting more explosive blocks. Moving swiftly on, we're now going to talk about the new beam blocks. So we have quite a few of them actually shown off here. They kind of look a merge between like the beam blocks and the catwalks. They look quite interesting, maybe like their balcony blocks. Furthermore, when Finn and Jack both go down this corridor in the clip, we can also see this beam block mounted on the actual wall itself. So I think this is very much going to be like the mining kind of beam blocks. In the sense that when you go down a mine and there's like wooden flats and stuff keeping the ceiling up. So I think this could be really, really nice for like building cool mining tunnels. On to the next block now, which I think quite a few people have actually missed. And that is the new med room, which is called the corner medical room. Why they've called it the corner medical room, I don't actually know because all med rooms are basically a corner anyway. And while we don't get a full look at this block in the new thing, there are a couple of shots where part of it is in shot, what's shown here. It does look a lot more industrial than the medical rooms we've seen before. And honestly, I think it's way overdue. We should have got a new medical block earlier, and I'm just glad we've got a new skin for it, because it looks amazing from what we can see. Right, now we're going to go on to the next block that has been revealed, which is the bladed turbine, or blade turbine. Now I'm probably thinking, Ran, where have you plucked this name from? I think this is the bladed turbine purely because it looks like one of them from in real life and secondly when Finn actually searches within the build menu it comes up both times when he puts BL into the search bar and TUR basically confirming this is going to be a blade turbine or some sort of so I reckon this is either going to be an alternative or just a reskin of the actual just wind turbine block. It would be nice if it was slightly more efficient or one that you can stack so you can make it really tall. I think that could be quite a cool game feature, but honestly, I don't know. The next block we're going on to is this new computer looking block thing. Now, I didn't actually spot this, but it was actually in the background of the previous teaser. And uh, shout out to Keller Driver Engineering for actually pointing out some of the mistakes in my an analysis before. I apologize for those. And also go check his video out on that teaser and indeed on these new blocks because uh, his content's great. Just discovered it. I was just like, wow, this is amazing. Anyway, uh, shout out aside, let's get back to this computer block. Now, I don't think this isn't actually a computer because if we look on the side, there are speakers and there looks to be a Colossus on Fire thing and it says stop. So I think this is a kind of iPod or a jukebox thing. But one thing I will say, I absolutely love the details on this because we've got a plushie, we've got mugs, and we've got what looks like to be some kind of records here at the bottom, as well as some like data pads and stuff. And honestly, I do love kicking back with a hot chocolate and some good music. Now we're going to go on to uh, the next set of blocks, which is the truss light. I don't think I've actually seen anyone cover this, and I don't really blame them, because it was in one frame of Jack's footage, and it really took me a while to actually manage to get a screen grab of it. But here we go. So I... So we can see what these are here. I didn't actually know what some of these blocks actually were. Because this middle one here with like the ball and the three pillars around it looks super weird. I really didn't know what that was. I was going to guess a new reactor. But no, it's a kind of truss block light. But what's interesting is it is actually in the section with antennas here. Or at least one of them is. So maybe this is going to be used for signalling. I mean, when I first saw it, I thought it was a reskin of like an antenna or a laser antenna. And that's what some people have spotted it have been saying. But no, it's a new kind of light block. Now, before we go investigate some of the new cockpit blocks, we're just going to have a quick peek at some couple of mystery blocks that I don't actually know what they are. 
So that would be these uh, blocks here. Now the fact that these first three are kind of next to the wind turbine in kind of like the power section kind of makes me think. And uh, Keladara Engineering said this as well. I'm just kind of regurgitating what he's in the video. Like, But yeah, I think they could possibly be solar panels. But they don't really look like solar panels. I don't know if the skin's not done yet. Or whether these are like more storage blocks. I really don't know. Like I would say I'm only like 30% certain these are solar panels. I really don't know what they are. Then we have this weird looking pillar block here. Now I've seen this in like the storage section of the things. While I was looking around through the various screenshots of Jack's footage. And honestly no clue. Something to do with storage, maybe a new type of connector or conveyor, or maybe this could be a uh, a large grid to small grid conveyor port. That would be very handy for docking fighters. And the way it kind of looks like it on the bottom, it looks like a kind of bigger thing, and then it goes into a kind of smaller connector looking thing. I think that's possibly what this could be. Obviously, just a theory. I don't know. So this new cockpit block here looks to be some sort of lorry cockpit. I think it could possibly be like a variant on like an industrial style kind of cockpit. But it looks really interesting. Maybe it's an industrialized version of the rover thing or the like the saddle from the automatons. But yeah, it looks very interesting. Yeah. Going on to uh, next thing, it looks like we will get some new Willis Ducks variants, which could be uh, could be quite cool. Though this update is called Warfare, I'm just going to quickly go over some of the things that we know aren't actually in here. So we aren't actually getting any new weapons at all for this, at least in regard to character weapons. It, it doesn't look like we're getting a new turret either, as I think they would have showcased it. As well as that, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any new emotes either, as there's not any shown in Jack's menu when uh, uh, when he accidentally goes into the emotes menu. Now, we're going to just go onto a couple of mystery things before we end up, which I'm not entirely sure what they are. So we've got this new LCD screen thing at the back. I've no idea what this is. I think this could be just a new LCD variant. I don't really know. And the other kind of mystery things is the symbols. Now, obviously, we've got two different symbols, one for the Warfare Evolution update and one for the actual Decorations Pack DLC. So this is the kind of the closest I've got. It looks kind of similar to the Automatons one, just a bit more of a kind of snowflake. For the other one, it looks a little more weird. It looks like some kind of robot or maybe a brain. And I'm kind of inclined to say more on the brain side because Evolution. But then again, for Evolution, you really could put anything. You could put the Galapagos Islands. Now... I'm just going to go on to a couple of odd things that I just noticed while watching. First thing is that here, I don't know what's causing this, whether it's an in-game feature already. It looks to be a bunch of the actual in-game stuff is highlighted. I've no idea why this is. If anyone does know, please tell me. Just saw that watching and thought, huh, that's weird. Is that a bug? At first, I just thought it was highlighting in some of the DLC blocks, because you can see that the beam block is highlighted and that we may be getting, like, new skins of the plant box or something but i just noticed a lot of inconsistency between their views as to what was highlighted and what wasn't also it looks like the assembler view have been changed a little bit and uh, some of the things have been recategorized because look we have now ammo in its own category and then player weapons in their own category because previously consumables were put in their own category because there were there was also canvas in this section and now it looks like weapons and drills have been separated out entirely and we've got just a couple of new newer symbols but yeah, please let me know down in the comments what you think the new symbols for the DLC are going to be. I'm sure some of you are thinking, Ran, well why didn't you check when Jack pressed escape and went into the pause screen? I did. There's no actual new symbols here. I did double check. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching everyone. I will catch you in the next one. And uh, hopefully it's not going to be as soon as this one was. Because this kind of hit me out of nowhere. I thought, ah, one teaser done. We'll get another in a week. But no, it's the next day. Anyway. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.